Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be creating another e-commerce website for you and we're going to be focused on books and publishers. Today, during that books and publisher, I'm going to show you how to add the e simple e-commerce app that Wix has to offer. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's dive on in. So in the upper hand right hand corner, we see create new website. We're going to select that. We're going to allow it to load. And once it does, now we're going to go to our online store and we're not going to do the ADI we're not going to answer those questions it asks but we are going to create from scratch from a template now since our theme today is actually books and publishers you're going to click the three little dots that were just here and it's going to show you books and publishers now it's going to have one page of about six different templates to choose from so we have a bookstore a writer uh, another bookstore, writer, writer, and a nutritionist. Uh, let's see this. This looks pretty cool. A lot of different things we have covered before, such as the store already. Uh, we have, okay, some pretty cool images. We don't quite have an e-commerce store for a writer, but I want to see best selling. Uh -huh. Okay, let's edit this one. So in about one, two, or three minutes or so, uh, we'll have our template loaded. And we'll start, and we'll start actually adding that app, and we'll take a look and see what this template has to offer. All right, so now we have our writer pulled up here. So the books, this was our theme. Let's take a look. We have an option to buy now. We have the history of the writer here. Very cool. Okay. Uh, but what about, let's see the different pages. It should have a few others. Product page, card page, thank you page. Very good. All right. So we're going to add our app to this. Everything else looks pretty good. Uh, so, with that being said, we're going to jump into Add Apps. Alright, now we have our apps loaded in. Uh, we will look in the search apps and we're going to look for simple e-commerce. Build an online store, start selling instantly. Alright, this is our app. A built-in online store, we're going to add to our site and we're going to give it the permission and ask and it should be added to it all right here we go the simple e-commerce and this is it right here all right I'm just going to bring this right here ebooks for instant downloads and we're going to continue on down all right here in our place just where you can see it a little bit easier all right now let's see you can see now this is a brown bow the price the PayPal button here and we're going to go to settings all right so simple e-commerce so this is the main so we can add products connect to PayPal and you see PayPal here PayPal address so you'll put your address right here that's linked to your PayPal and if you don't have a PayPal it does allow you to create one right here we also have settings. So before we go to settings, I, or before we go to actually adding the products, I do want to do a little of the settings just to let it go. Because I already know what I'm going to sell, right? I'm going to sell books. So send orders to PayPal email. We can or not. If we don't, you're going to choose a different email address to send those orders. So there you go. All right, so we're going to send. Now enable a shopping cart. For this, you do need to upgrade. Vacation mode. Vacation mode, store is closed. Right? Uh, closed message. Sorry, we're not taking orders at this moment. Right, right. Or we're closed indefinitely. Um, this is what this is. Now we can put the date until we open back up. All right. Not what we're doing now, but that is the vacation mode. All right. So our collection. Now this, again, is upgrade to display different product collections. Or to create a product collection, you can upgrade right here. All right, so now we don't, this is just a free version. This is just to show you what we have. Now the text. Uh, let's change that purchase text for you. I'm going to say, buy me now. All right, buy me now, this is it. Uh, out of stock text, I'm just going to change it just so you can see. We don't have it. 
All right, now no products text. Sorry, we're not taking orders right now. I'm just gonna say message me later. To order. Message me later to order. All right, now you can kind of see where it reached it by me now, right? All right, so let's click back this. I do want to go back. I am not quite finished with settings. All right, so settings, and we have the vacation mode, the text, we don't have it. We have that completed. Now the layout. The card width. We could change that card width on here, and now you can see our items. And I'm going to move that here and move the border down so we can see our pictures. There we go. All right. Now coming back, so I had to move that. And we're going to go back to the layout. And you can do the card height. You can change it as well. The horizontal spacing and the vertical spacing. So you can make spaces in between. Now that's what I want to do. And I'm going to exit out again and come back. So I just want to show you that this is the spacing in between. And when they're side by side, uh, when you do that from the width, if you make them smaller, you would actually, it would make the space the same from here, but horizontal. You get the idea, right? So coming to design, the product card. Let's look at the product card. All right, so the text. This is what is written right here. You see blue pants, right? A brown boat and an umbrella. This is red. I'm going to change this color just to show you how to change the colors yourself. And I'm going to customize my color and you can do however you want. Maybe you don't like these colors that's done. And I'm going to select, there we go, blue pants. Uh, the price, of course, the price is right here. Uh, I'm going to change it to, to another custom color, this color. I'm going to add. All right, now we have that changed. That was the product name, but let's change that color. All right, now we'll swap them all out. All right, very good. And I'm going to exit. The button, this is the button color. Uh, the button text here, I can put black. You can see I've done that. The icons and buttons. This is the background of the button. Now, when we change the background, we can make it gray. We'll make it silver. There we go. And now the info icon color as well. We can make this like that. That's the info. All right. Now the icon background as well. We can change black. Right, and you can see. All right, now uh, the card icon color. I'm going to make something like this. There's, all right, you can see the cart. We can add the cart. Now the background and border. The background is white. I want to change it to something like this, or we can change that color. And this is all of that color. You see how that changed pretty quickly, right? Or you can make it that really weird greenish kind of color, or we can make it like a lighter gray as well. All right, or any other color that you prefer. Now there's a border. Now the border is this, is well exactly what it's telling you, a border what's outlining each and every card. I'm going to make it black. Making it black. Now the border type, solid, dashed, or dotted. You can see it's dotted. I'm going to change it, or dashed, now it's dotted. All right, the border radius and the shadow, and you can see the shadow here and you can kind of change that shadow right here with this app. Right, long, faded. There we go. All right, very good. Now that is the, the design options that we have. This is for the simple e-commerce. All right, so we're going to go back to main. Settings, text, layout, design, we've all covered it. It's all right here. Now let's go to add our products, right? So of course, uh, we can add a product. There's a collection. You don't have any products in your store. That's fine. Uh, now we want to add a product. The product name, we can say my biography. Uh, product description, the book about me. Of course, you can put whatever description you want, right? A serial number, uh, S N like whatever. Do 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 do. Right, that's the serial number. And now we have our image. Uh, here, there's no image because it's a new product. I'm going to add the image. And when it says add image, it's going to take us to our dashboard. It's going to site files, upload the media. So if you have your own pictures, you're going to have to be able to upload from your computer and you can drag and drop right here as well. 
Uh, I don't have that, and I'm just going to put books. And we're going to upload from books. These are the books. Uh, I'm going to put this picture, open book. Just for now, of course, just you can choose whatever you like. And we're going to have that image for that first product. The price, uh, I'm going to change the price here to $111, right? Uh, upgrade to set prices for higher than 50, so it won't let us until we upgrade. That's okay. So let's just say 50 then. And variants allow you to sell different types of name with the same product. So here you can actually click the start with variant one. I'm just going to say hardback. Right? That is the option one. That's the variant name. And Just giving in the name just to show you a salt pack. All right, so there we go. And I'm going to save the variant. All right. Now use variants uh, options for more uh, as a default or configure variant options for this product. Salt pack and set option price difference if you want as well. So you can change that and you can say mm, $25. Right. All right. Now the inventory. This is your inventory. Now you can only use this for the upgraded version of it, but you can sell a limited number of items. You can just select as well. We're going to save that product. And there we go. And even a collection, if we add a collection, but you can only do this for the parade plan as well. So this is how you do, and you'll continue. So one product here, and you'll select, and you can edit or duplicate it as well. We'll save that product, copy, and I'm going to duplicate as well copy of my copy and it's the same so each time you want to create a new uh, you'll just actually go to new product and change the name just as we've shown you now so biography copy my biography etc and this is it this is the products and collections we'll exit out sorry we're not taking orders right now and well but we are uh, going to settings again and we'll let this load and we need to connect our PayPal. And we can just select one of these emails and save it. And there we go. And we're going to go back to settings and order send orders, enable shopping cart. Uh, when we pay for it, that will give you the option as well. So text, we have the main, manage products, and we have our products. We have one product at least. All right, and exit out. Now, uh, let's see, you want to have an unlimited amount, now that will change as well. Uh, now, we're going to go back to settings, and we're going to make sure all of it is in line. Main, mm -hmm. PayPal, we have our PayPal, we have our settings, text, and layout as well, design as well. Product card, dialogues, shipping card. Now, of course, that's not going to let you, but once you do create, you can have that, you can actually change uh, that design of that shopping cart once you pay for it and actually activate it for you. Uh, the product cards are just what we changed here. All right. So we want to go out and make sure. Let's see, one moment. All right, coming. Ah, that's why. So we're in vacation mode. The store is not closed. Let's leave that. And the store is actually open. So we'll go back. And now let's exit out. Now I want to show you what it looks like in the preview mode and you can actually see what that looks like. So we'll give it just a moment. We're in preview. We're varying our side. We're not taking orders right now. And this is where it's left just for the moment. Uh, but from the side, you kind of catch the idea, right? So it's from book signing and we're going to scroll down and there we go. Now, of course, we can come back to editor as well and we can come back and change and you'll just select hover over click and it will load up now settings uh, you could just go back to the same and we're going to make sure everything is okay and how we left it all right so tool settings all right send orders to PayPal email very good vacation mode stores closed we don't want vacation mode and it is all products send orders uh-huh text we don't have it out of stock purchase text message me later and we just need to actually publish the account and this is going to activate 
this for the comers. And we just haven't published our email just yet or our website. So once we do so, it's going to activate and you're going to be able to see our product as well. So coming to main, going to manage products, right? This is going to be it. So one product, my biography, right? And we can just add another one, blah, 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 the same. And it will show. But we haven't published the site yet. But once we do, this will be in order and you can see and select. Now, once we do all of that, uh, if you pay for the upgrade, you can set up and design your shopping cart and it's going to make everything so much easier. So I hope you really did like this and you learned something. Uh, there's a lot of these e-commerce options actually in the uh, apps. You can play with them. It's, you can see that they're very, a lot of them are free. You can add them, see what they look like if you like them add them, if not, delete them, so you can kind of find out what your style and what better fits you. And of course, we'll go over another one as well in the future, so don't miss out. Do subscribe, drop a comment, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.